I went through the 2011, um, I don't know what semester it was, I think it was like seven, um, and I was just angry. I was angry and I didn't want to be there. I honestly would stand in the halls and, you know, not want to go in. Like I would just stand out there like through half of the class. And then um, I know Amy would come out and she would come and she'd, you know, try to convince me to come in and just kind of push me and be that person that I didn't have in my life, that I'd never had someone that was, you know, pushing me that much. Um, and so that was, that was probably what started um, pushing me to be, I guess, where I am now. It's going through that with her and having someone that was encouraging me and wasn't giving up even though I wanted them to. I wanted to have my son, but I was just angry with the circumstances of where I was and who I was and, um, you know, just my whole home life and everything else with it. It was probably when I had my second child. Um, I was 17, 18 when I had her. Um, at that point it's when I realized that the path that I was on, even though I had already kind of geared towards a better path, I still was lost in a place that you know I didn't know how to get out of. But when I had my second child, I went to another Embrace Grace, Grace class just um, just one of the classes and Amy kind of pushed me to go with her and just sit in there with her and just hear it and from doing that I think that's where I took the turn and realized that that's where I needed to go. I guess encouraging myself because I don't I don't like to be around a lot of people it's always kind of been a fear is um, what other people are thinking about me and so that was the hardest thing I think was just getting myself out the door and into the car and getting there and realizing that I just had to do it because I wasn't going to otherwise. Amy was kind of for a good four years through that time Amy was the only person that I wanted to connect with even though I might have I think pushed her away a few times I still wanted that relationship and so that was always the first person when I needed help or um, encouragement, I think she was always the person that I went to. Embrace Grace helped me plant hope and faith and a new life. Just do it and reach out and um, connect with your leaders. That's the best thing that you can do in that time.